Hey scholars, Mr. Burn here. Today I'm going to show you how to um, add transitions to the Adobe Premiere Pro um, Creative Cloud. Um, you're going to be using this for your project. You need to select one transition for this project. Um, there are many to choose from. I just want to go over what those are, how to add them to your presentation. This should be pretty quick and simple. At this point, you should already know how to import media on to the, into the program. Um, in this case, it's going to be just images, like a slideshow. So what I'm going to do here is I've selected just a couple images off the computer here. I'm just going to grab three of them really quick here. And you just simply drag those over and drop them into your presentation like that. Oh, it looks like I dropped them all. That's all right, though. So each one of these is a different image, which is totally fine. And you'll notice that there's a little line in between each of these images. I'm going to use the, the zoom um, option here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little more. So we have these distinct lines here. The way that you access your um, transitions is through effects, which is over here. And we have all these different presets, audio effects, visual effects. Oh, look, video transitions. This is what we're, we're going to be using. And we have all these different ones to choose from in here. Um, so I'm just going to highlight a couple of them. Most of these um, you're probably never going to use. There are some that um, are a little more popular than others. The cube spin and flip over. So you simply grab it, see the little hand there, drag it to where you want. It should be on both sides. And if we come up here, we can actually preview what that looks like by pushing, there you go. And then we have the flip over. And we'll play these at the end. The dissolve ones are the ones that I use most of the time. The additive dissolve, it's kind of like a um, transparent dissolve. The cross dissolve is a good one. Um, dip the black or fade the black would be the more common term. Dip and fade to white as well. Um, then to use this one a lot for dramatic effect. This one a lot for weddings and sort of happy occasions, um, which is a good one. It keeps things light and happy. So we're going to drop a couple of these in here. So we've added dissolve, cross dissolve. This one's probably my favorite one, the one I use most of the time. Um, dip to black, dip to white. Um, and we're just going to skip these other ones for now. But there's all kinds of cool things you have in here. Iris ones, Iris box, Iris cross, Iris diamond. And I'll just throw one of the Iris ones in there so we can take a look at it. Page peel. So this is like turning of a page like in a book. Oh, it's kind of popular in the 80s. A lot of movies use that for a lot of things to tell the story of time. Um, slides. We're going to skip those ones. Wipes. We have barn doors. So let's throw that one in there just for fun. Let's move this down a little bit. Barn doors. Zoom, cross zoom. Take a look at that one too. So you're going to be choosing only one of these for your presentation that you're creating now. I only want to see one. Um, as you can see, this one where there's actually no transition, this is called a cut. So right here is, is a little cursor right there. That's called a cut. I don't want to see that one. That one's um, come standard. Um, you don't see that one too often. But um, now that I've shown you these transitions, as you're watching TV and movies and things like that, the transitions are going to literally jump off the page, page at you. You will see that the uh, cross dissolve and the additive dissolve are two of the most commonly used ones. Um, along with the cut as well. So I'm just going to play this really fast and you can see a couple of these transitions. Um, here we have the cube, the flip. I really like this added, added dissolve one for um, text. It works really well with that. Cross dissolve, it merges the two layers for a little bit. And the other thing you can do while we're here is you can actually click on the transition itself and you can actually extend it and make it bigger. So you have a more of a dramatic effect with that transition fade. That crosses all there. We have dip, dip to black or fade to black, dip to white. That's also a good one for like a camera shutter as well. Iris box. Page peel, this one should look like a turning of a page. There you go. 
So that's just a couple of the different transitions to highlight. So make sure you're only choosing one of these for the projects. If you have questions, let me know. Hit me up at jburn at if you have questions. Have a great day, scholars.